In this poster design tutorial, we're going to create this graphic using Adobe Photoshop. All right, let's first create our canvas to work with. You're going to go up to File, New, and then for this graphic design, we're going to be using 1200 by 1500. All right, now let's create our background. So you're going to hit the rectangle tool and drag the rectangle all the way across your canvas. Once we have a rectangle created, we can adjust the color by hitting this button right here. You can use whatever color you want, but I recommend choosing a lighter color and you guys will see why in just a second. If you're new to this channel, I give away all my overlays and assets to whatever videos I do in the description. So you can download these overlays like you're seeing right now and it's completely free, no charge. I want you guys to learn with me. So after we put in our overlay here, I'm gonna switch the blend mode to color dodge and I'm also gonna add in another overlay. This is the second overlay. And for this overlay, we are gonna switch it to soft light. All right, now that we have the background finished, let's get to the fun part of this design. So we're gonna insert our logo to the background and click on your logo and then go to the effects button. All right, let's click inner glow and also select stroke. If you increase the size of the stroke, it just creates a thicker solid border along the outside of your logo. And then if you click inner glow and increase the um, size a little bit, what it does is it creates like a thicker shadow along the inside, which is really, really important for our design. So you don't wanna skip this part. All right, now let's hit okay. And we're gonna go and insert the picture of the fans inside of our logo. So you can do this by control clicking so hold control and then click on your layer and then go to create clipping mask. Once you have your clipping mask created, we're going to go and now change our fan image to black and white. You can do this by going up to image, adjustments, and then clicking black and white. Now let's add a slight blur to our fans. Go up to filter, blur, and then go to Gaussian blur. You can then reduce the amount of blur by moving the slider to the left. We're now gonna work with our player image layer. So you can do this by just dragging in your image of Tom Brady, and we're gonna turn it from this into this. So the first thing we're gonna do is press Control and click on our layer. We're gonna go and duplicate this layer, and then we're gonna go up to Filter, scroll down to Other, and then select High Pass. What this does is it creates like a grainy filter on the top of your image, and then what we can do is we can adjust our blend modes to make it add more detail to our image. It really gives it a high definition look to it. You can see by the before and the after right here. Let's head back into Camera Raw Filter and make some adjustments. We're gonna add texture, a little clarity, and make some slight changes to both contrast and shadows. I also made some changes to the blacks and I added some sharpening as well as a little bit of noise reduction. What sharpening does is it creates a little bit more detail within your photo and these other adjustments are all detail oriented. If you look at the final image of our graphic, you can see the blacks and the whites really contrast really, really well. And that's the whole point of this camera raw filter that I'm doing right here it's to create more contrast between the blacks and the whites. So let's press OK, and here's the before, and here's the after. All right, now let's merge our two Tom Brady layers together. And once we've done that, we can duplicate this merge layer that we just created, and we can go back into Camera Raw Filter. So I've been doing Photoshop for a while now, and this is one of my favorite tricks that not a lot of people know and it's these presets in Camera Raw Filter. What it is is it's presets that Camera Raw Filter has created of just filters, and I like this futuristic um, FT12 is what it's called. It's in the futuristic section, and what it does is it creates more light on your player image. So if you look at what it looked like before, and here's the after, you can see it's a little bit brighter in the white areas of your design, which is really, really cool. We can now merge all of our player layers together and duplicate our layer. Next, we're gonna go to adjustments and then create a black and white layer. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please feel free to drop a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. I do videos like this every single week and you don't wanna miss any of the new content that I'm putting out, it's gonna be really good. Now we're gonna put this black and white layer below our color layer and we're gonna erase this top layer 
which is your color layer, so that it reveals the black and white layer that's below it. Now we're going to merge these two together. If you look at our player image, you can see that the jersey has a slight blue tint to it. And obviously we don't want that in a black, white, and red image. So what we can do to get rid of that is add an adjustment layer. And then we're going to hit selective color and go to the scions. Obviously scions is a, a color. We want to reduce the scions. You can see what it looks like before here. And then this is what it looks like after. All right, one final time, we're going to go into Camera Raw Filter, and we're just going to add clarity. And again, this creates this black and white contrasty look, and it looks really, really good. So here's what it looked like in the very beginning, and then here's what it should look like now. The next step is to make it look like your player image is popping out of your sports poster design. So duplicate your player image and create a clipping mask to your logo layer. Your bottom player image should be right above your fan layer image, and you should have already clipped that to your logo. So we then can create a mask and erase the top layer where the logo would be. For me, I decided to use an adjustment layer and paint back on black shadows as a way to erase this top layer. The next thing I wanted to do was center my player image. You can do this by selecting both of them and then pressing up on your arrow key until it looks about in the middle of the graphic. Step six is to add the player signature to your graphic design. So let's select the pen tool and now we're going to click all around our signature. Once we've done that, you can press control and then click on the center of the signature and go to make selection. We can then hit the mask button and then erase everything but our selection. Next go up to image adjustments and we're going to invert our signature. This gives you a black background behind the signature and now we can easily cut out this black background by double clicking and going into blending options and getting rid of everything that is black on the signature. Let's next add our text. I'm going to be using the font Rendig, and you can add whatever text you want down here, but I chose to use my favorite quote. I then added a rectangle in between the two quotes. You can change the color by clicking this button and then selecting any of the listed colors, or you can access every color by hitting the color wheel. You can also add this logo to the top half of your design. And the very last thing we will do within this design is add an adjustment layer and add the color lookup to strip. This makes your image a little bit brighter and it changes your yellows to this lighter shade of red, which really fits well into your design. The final touch that we have is creating this dark shadow along the edges of our design. And what it does is it really creates this center focus of the design being really bright in the middle and then taking your eyes away from the outside portion of the design. This can be done by creating a new layer and then using the black brush on zero hardness and then painting along the outside edges of your design. After that, you're all finished. If you guys enjoyed this video, please check out this next video right here.